All right, now we will get into the look goes as follows, Erica Tour edition. Yeah. Yay. These pictures will tell a story. All right, so let's just <laughs> take it up. They're in a vaguely order to order. Oh okay. My gosh. So let's take a look. Okay. <gasps> <gasps> now, right oh there God. in the center, there she is. This Holy is during crap. the Mr. Black days. I'd say this is the end of your sort of very feminine moment. That's wow. the entire crew on the stairway there. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen that picture in a very long time. <laughs> yes. So, so that the gives back us, stairway yeah. at Mr. Black where a lot of the magic happens. A lot of the magic. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Aww. This was, a, I'd say this was, when well, you came to Hollywood to shoot I a came, TV special with I me. And I went back to being a lady. Right, because you were at that time at going time doing, out to outer space. Yeah, I but was But this kind of way. represents, this look represents kind of where you were right in the My Pumps era. Yeah, uh, this that was, that was a little bit afterwards. Um, and what's the inspiration for that era? It was like a little bit of a pinup girl. It was a little bit pinup. It was a little bit like 80s, like Prince, Protégé, a little uh -huh. bit like 80s <laughs> yes. ingenue. Um, I was had always wanted red hair, like my I've always had red hair in me, so it was always red. When I had hair, it was red. Always red until I went to outer space, and then it became uh, other, popsicle, sticks. A popsicle sticks. Okay, so let's see the next picture. That's a young Erica. That is a very young Eric. Oh my God, Eric! That's Eric Bounds. That's Eric Bounds. That's at a, that was at a party in. Where the hell did you even get that picture? But don't worry about it, honey. We I don't need the details. <laughs> this is just about your eras and your looks, okay? Yeah. That was an underwear party, obviously, because uh -huh. you're in underwear. Uh -huh. This is now this is when you're doing the live shows for work, Erica. What would work, you call this Erica. look? Oh, there was a beautiful that was a beautiful um diamond encrusted bodice. Mm -hmm. But what um, would you title the look? The look goes the as, look follows. Goes as follows. No, Dark Angel meets Peg Bundy versus Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonderful, okay. Ah, oh, oh, this is you and Coco Aviant. This was for you. This show was for you, wasn't it? I think it, this was at Mr. Black was again. Mr. Black. You guys were performing. This was your legs. I think the look goes as follows is legs. A leg, the look goes you guys follows. were known for your high kicks. High kicks, yeah. I, I, high kicks is the title of that one. Yeah, obviously. okay, keep it high going. Kicks. This was your La Mady look. We were just talking about New York City, bitch. That was the look you were doing in full Davy makeout couture. Uh huh. This was shorty your Lion O soft. Li Lion O shorty. Vest. This was you were getting lady, every taxi lady. cab ride for uh -huh. free. For sure. It was all happening. Lion O shorty vest realness. Mm hmm. Oh. Now she starts to get avant garde. This is where, yeah, when it goes full on uh, avant garde. And I was, very, I was featuring a heavy Diane dial of Reeland blush from like here to here over yes moment and that was made out i mean yeah and that was made out of pa uh glitter paper mm. the mohawk that's one of my faves actually my legs look sickening right yes it does next look <laughs> now here's uh -huh. you start to meet nelson and you guys mm -hmm. start doing these kind of twinsy looks especially for suzanne barsh the suzanne legendary barsh. suzanne the legendary barsh. Suzanne barsh we did a party called catwalk um where we did matching looks different looks every weekend for the better part of a year and a half. Right. I don't know, I mean, y'all girls that make your own stuff, feel me, like that's, it was insane. That's intense. I it mean, you really have intense. always been crafty, but when you started doing these we looks, started doing that, you took it to got, another took level. Took it to another level and got real crafty and had to be real speedy as well. Uh-oh, because so, <laughs> you had to get them done. We had to get them done. Now, uh, let's just roll through these. Let's take a look. Another amazing devil worship, shark bite. Box heads. I love that one. Those are so good. I love that one. Holy crap. Oh, that's a ruffle head here on uh, on Painted for Filth. Painted for Filth. Oh, ghost okay. face killer. Wow. There's been so many. This is you in a pool. This is me in a pool. This was for Suzanne Barr. She loved, I did this show for her one year and she made me do it every year because she gets obsessed with things and she's like, oh my God, this genius. I want it all the time. And she, I birthed um, a, a bunch of uh, like inflatable like pool toys, like rubber duckies. Uh -huh. I like got in the pool 
and I had them all under my dress, and I went into like labor pains and did like a whole little like labor show, and then birthed all of these babies into the water. Amazing. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. <laughs> Uh, All right, so this is a good thing to talk about. This was N Subtitles. This was a group that you formed. With uh, One Half Nelson. With One Half Nelson. And Clifton Brown Jr., um, one of our other friends from New York, another amazing artist in his own right. He does his own music and stuff. But we um, were hired to do... They needed a show for one of this, this party called Spank. And they had, like, monthly parties, and they needed a show, and we kind of volunteered... Right. To do one of these shows. And, and your we, first show our was? first show was, um, it was to B-52's Mesopotamia. And we were hieroglyphics in like a, in a wall. Our heads were poking through like a black curtain. And there were hier- like hieroglyphics and it was all in black, white, black light. And we were, it was just our heads and our arms. So we were dancing with our heads and our arms through... Only through the thing. It was and very, you guys started to do these shows. We started to do these shows. And these shows, all the time. this one was you were killer uh, Easter bunnies, killer right? Easter bunny. We were Easter bunny business ladies at the strip club after work. <laughs> <laughs> it was very conceptual. And then you had another one where you were McDonald's workers. We were, we were Victorian, Victorian McDonald's workers with pow- like, pow- like powdered wigs and everything. Amazing. And then um, you were another one where you were cupcakes that ate each yeah, other. Yeah, we were cupcakes that did a strip tease and then ate each other. I mean. Uh, we were, we did this one to Freakazoid where we had light up box heads and we had like this, each of us had a nose, like a mouth and lips and we did this giant face <laughs> on the stage. Amazing. There were so many. We did some, we were. Um, I think some of them we'll see in the next ones. Keep those uh, pictures moving. Oh, this, me and me and um, Nelson also did shows well, together. Yeah, yeah, you did shows together. Oh, this, this is, is us. Uh, this is a team pimp performance where you were a Victorian era lady with a delayed dangerous, dangerous liaison. Dangerous Um <laughs> This is a House of wow, Avion shot with a tiny house. little Eric in the corner there. Tiny little Eric in the yellow shirt. Oh. oh, very appropriate. That was from our first show as and subtitles where we came up with our name because we're like, this was so amazing. We did such a great job, pat on the back, that we need to do this all the time. And there was nothing really going on in nightlife at that time performance-wise. So we're like, why don't we just do this group? And they were like, I mean, we might have been ingesting some things. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so... I was like, wow, what is it like? What is it? What is it? What is the feeling? I was like, well, it's like a girl group. It's like en vogue, but it's so bizarre that you need subtitles to get into it. It's en, en subtitles. subtitles. <laughs> so you've so, had, so you've really managed to you you've come through so many looks as we've seen. Uh-huh. You've evolved through so many the amazing gambit. looks. You got to keep it new for yourself. Yeah, you keep it interesting. And you've really cre- you've moved from just being a queen to someone who's really creating these out there looks. You've started working corporate events where you've worked for Adidas. You've worked yeah. for who else? Some of the bigger ones. Oh, I do. Uh, w Starwood W Hotels. Right. Really big. I mean, you've done huge events. I've done big Dress stuff. just as Cuckoo Magoo as yeah. this. Uh-huh. Oh, and, and even then some. And even then some. <laughs> my look was much, girl. I really want to be a part of my life right now because my look was much, girl.